Glory to our God. Glory belongs to our God. Glory belongs to our God. Amen. Amen. This is the day one of our conference. They want people still coming from around the states. Those who are driving, they are still on their way here. <laughs> and also those who have arrived already, they are still tired. I know you are tired. Some of you spend the night driving and others spend the day driving. We won't take much of your time. I'm just going to give you an, an introduction of what is going to take place. In these days, from today, Friday to Sunday, in this week, we'll be sharing, or this weekend, we'll be sharing a th our theme, spiritual and financial breakthrough. Don't get breakthrough, Nick. Breaking through. No, come and get to work. It's a challenge. Go, come and get saying. Get caught up. It's a challenge. Get caught up. It's a challenge. Get caught up. It's Breaking through is when there's something blocking or stopping, like a wall, but we are going to break through and receive the blessings, either spiritually or also financially. In these three days, we will have a breakthrough. We will have a breakthrough. We are going to usher, to enter into our things. This word came from jo jo uh, Jonathan when he, he many and the other servants they were entering into the camp, but they said, Just you and I were going to break through. He was with a young man and they asked, should I go? But he said, yes, let's go. So they had a breakthrough into the Philistines. Jonathan was just just Jonathan and the young man, they were together. They had a breakthrough. If you are just by yourself, by, uh, by with God, you are going to have a breakthrough. So I would like to thank the Bayumbe with this topic so we may be able to share with you. We will have time to pray. We pray for people. And we will have time to share the word. And also the time to, to dance. Also going, we are going to have those sessions. And then, and then, you may wonder, do, do those people, do they like to dance? But yes, let me promise you, we are going to have all the time to dance, to hear the word, and also to pray. And the Bible talks about adding. If you have faith, add, add on top, on top. So when we are here, we'll pray, we'll add a word, we'll add a miracles, we'll add everything. The word abayumbe. I believe comes from far. I believe it was in 1951 when there were people are praying and they used to be called Maluba. Any of you have heard Maluba? <laughs> These people be, uh, came to, uh, were filled with the Holy Spirit then. And they were young people. I spoke with my father and he, he told me the story of how the Maluba started. And at that time, they, they were trying to stop them from gathering with others. I believe that's when everything started. Uh, don't, 
na abantu bahagurutse from nowhere batasengewe batagize gute batangira kuvuga mu ndi batangira guhanura batangira no no badati cyo gye bari barazanyire veye bavuga ati abantu tuzaba control tubatenge nabonye inzandiko zo muri za 105 badata bandika ngo muturebere neza abamaro baba mwohereza babarega iwe yarazinyire tinzandiko abari mu bakoranaga bariga abamaro ngo babananiye nti bafatika so I believe these people, they started with the revival, even though the, our fathers are the ones who, who brought the revival. But the way they started, they were, none of them were ordained. So the leaders of the churches were confused and they started writing letters to my father. Some of the letters I was, I was able to see them. Uh, by my father. <laughs> Muzeho ukurikirumba sebaganwa sebaganwa cyo giba bari babuzutse bafite amayire kwa menshi cyane At that time some of the prophecies came at that time and, and so, all the prophets some of them you know you know them they were young at then ndatekereza nakomeje gushakisha ijambo mu marubaho ryavuye ariko nsanga ari ijambo ryiringara bakoreshaga maloba abantu bavuga amagambo koloba kuvuga I I I tried to do a little bit of search about the name Maluba, where it came from, and I found that it was from uh, Lingala language, which means the people who like to talk. And so everywhere they go, they will talk, they will talk, and that name, they were named Malu Maluba, means they like to talk or to speak. Okay, haza kuzabandi. No, no, ije muve maya maruba. Iza kubza rindi generasyo ya vutsemo. Vise abayumbe. And then after them, a new generation came and that's the bayumbe. Abayumbe ni baande. Who are bayumbe? Ijamba bayumbe riko mokahe. The name or the word bayumbe. Na banu bagi enda gaba chechetse wa fite ujumbe, wa fite wutunga. These were the people who used to work with the message quietly. They will work in a village in silence. And they God will give them a message and tell them, go until you get to the city or to the village. Do not look back unless you reach the city and deliver the message. Aho haje kuza generasyo, ya kura nagana bayumbe chane, ya limu wa serende. Diwuka wa serende waza mubijombo, waka zenguruka, umuhana wose wata vuga. Ama nubwa vwa ngoba limu muka wintari. Niko wa vwa ngoba wintari, wa limu muka wintari. So then another group came supporting the Bayumbe. Some of them I know, like uh, Serende, who they will, oh, they will come and surround the village or go around the, the the town in the quiet unless you have repented or the leaders of, or, of elders they will come and get the message or be able to talk to them at least. They will enter in a certain place. They will not eat. Bagasenga. Just pray. Then they will deliver the message. Then they will eat and speak. That, that was their way. They will control the entire village. Everyone fear them. Because they had a message. At the night, at the night, the villagers will come to listen to the message the messengers brought to them. Then another new generation came. They will come, but they will come singing and dancing, and they used to be called Busoka. So the messengers of Bayumbe will come quietly. Ariko haza kuzabandi baba vwemo generasyon no no wundi baze bachechetse ahubwo bakinjirana rusa ku muhana baririmba baririmba bazenguruka noneho abo bantu bari babusoka busoka bisobanura iki mukibembe 
Ukuvuka busoka manga. Eh? Tauzi kibembeani. Umune ezeri bziza. Baba baza gaba nezeri we. Bafiti bziza. Bafiti nguru ziza. Busoka. So the other team of Busoka, they will come in the city or in the village singing and dancing because they had a good message or they, they had a good news to share. And they did not have the spirit to terrorize the villagers or the spirit of, of lion. They will fellowship with the members of the village. They will come singing in a joy. So among that group of, of Busoka, there will be some prayers because they've been loved by the member of the village and they, have, they are in, in a fellowship. So please uh, delay here one more time. So when they... <laughs> When they agreed to stay one more night or staying over, they will call them the kibuzi. Kibuzi ni 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 hene ni 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 sekurume hene. Donke ngo ba kibuzi baaje. Abo bo ba 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 gira gihene kuko baza nyumunezero ba tinze ba kahungira kuhatura ba bitango ni ba kibuzi. Abo na bo ba ra ba yumbi ari kubo no neho ba ba giri hene. Abandi ba ba giri kwa gingoko ari kubo ya kwa giri hene ba bita ba kibuzi. The first group, they will not feed them the go, but the second group of the kibuzi, they name them because when they stay over, they will uh, slaughter a male goat and feed them. So the ba, name came out of that. Ba kibuzi rero. So these kibuzis, they are the ones who brought the gisirimba or the dance that we see today. But the kibuzi so the kibuzi are the one who brought the dance because the majority of them were coming from the church called Kades. Kades Assemblée de Dieu. Which is today the... Kwa simba gulikaga wakabzin. Kwa maze guhagi kibuzi. Bakari li imba neza chani wakitere la hejuru. Which is today the assembly of God. When they, are when they are full, they have been uh, received well, they will dance. <laughs> so these two groups were combined... Icho gerero kuko nta kintu original kitagira photocopy. Photocopy yagiye kuva mu bakibuzi na ni Saraza, Seraza. Niyo yavuye muri kibuzi. Seraza ni bande na abantu batangira gukora ama joke cyangwa bakaza mu nzu y'Imana bakinisha ibintu byo mwuka wera. Ni ndi groupe y'abari baguye yitwaga ba Seraza. Hari byo muzi kuri ba Seraza. Okay. Bazana gingurube mu biterane. Okay. So out of this group, another, an authentic group rose from them, and they were doing opposite from what they were supposed to do, and they were named the, Ser the Serizers, or like kind of the bandits, which they will commit crime, or uh, things that some of you already know. <laughs> I was among the kibuzis. <laughs> the ones who will eat the goat, the goat and then dance. <laughs> we preach, but yeah. after we had eaten the goat. So we were having a dance. That time the dance of Gisirimba started, I was with some of the late like in Kumbuinka. Nabandi. Basore ntavuga amazina benshi cyane donc icyo gusirimba abantu bakaguruka bakiruka Some of the other young men that I may not mention here but we would dance and run around and and jump around Rero uyu munsi twatumiwe n'abayumbe ndagira ngo bayumbe ikintu cyakagombye kububaka cyane kiruta ikindi ni ubutumwa ujumbe and, uh, and today we have been invited by the Bayumbe or the messengers. So one thing that is to strengthen you or to be like a core of value of you is the message. Kugira ubutumwa authentique muri mwe. To have authentic message within you. Kugira jambo ry'Imana ryinshi muri mwe. To have an abundant life a word of God within you. Hanyuma mugatanga ubutumwa bwuzuye. Then you deliver a complete message. Abantu bose Imana yagiye ikoresha bya bibitangaza bya bikiriteri ya mbere bari bafite ni jambo rya ryuzuye muri bo. 
Every person that God used, whether to miracles or anything else, it was the word that was within them. Amen. Amen. When there is a word within you, that's what you use. So who do we take after? Yes. As Jesus. Satan was shocked and amazed by the way Jesus knew the word. Jesus, remember, he spent 40 days in the prayer. After he completed it, he was not visited by the angel. What would you say? So normally when you are done praying 40 days of fasting, you are expecting an angel to come your way. But when a Satan is the first person to see you, there is something else. Satan is the first person to see you. Satan is the first person to see you. So Satan was not driven out because of the prayer Jesus had prayed, but because the word that was with with Jesus. So Jesus said, it is written. He said, it is written. The third time it is written. And Satan said, let me go. I will come back and pick, but maybe that time the word will not be in him. So it is important to pray. It is so important to pray. But the Bible says the Bible says the word of Christ shall be abundant and enough in your heart. The word of Christ may it be abundant you and filled your heart. So when you have a word in you, you cannot live just by the breath. But you live according to the, to the word. It makes a way for you. It opens door for you. Glory to Jesus. So among the things that you ask from me it's to share the word with you. Not because you don't know the word. Not because you don't read the word. But we are just reminding one another that a sword sharpens another sword. Iron. The iron sharpens another iron. An, an iron sharpens another iron. So I'm here to sharpen you and also you to sharpen me. And we have the right sharpener. The sh we have the right sharpener to sharpen us. Yes, I Amen. You must have so today we have the right sharpener which is the word of God. It's going to sharpen us. It's going to strengthen us. It's going to make us right. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Also, the word. The Bible says he sends his word and we are healed our diseases. So today when we hear the word of God, we are going to be well. Imani katangira ukuri bitangaza mu bantu. Ube rero wakiriye ko udategereza ngo ariko ari budusengere jara dushire w'ibiganza shobora kubikora nkuko nta bikora. Wo utangire kwizera ko ijambo rigukiza, ijambo rigukoraho, ijambo rikuvura kandi riguhindura. By the grace of God, sometime when the word is being, I'm being sharing with it, the miracle starts taking over. So don't expect the moment where I'm going to lay hands over you. I may, I may not do, but take, uh, take heed of these words. Yes, Amen. Yes, Amen. Yes, Hallelujah. 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 We, are, we are going to read the book of John, chapter 10, verse 10. Yohana ichumi kumurangu wachu. John 10.10 10. Umujura nazango ni kindi kerece kuiba no kuisha no kurimburu aliko jeweho nazango no kugirango zibonu bugingo ndetse ngo zibone bwinshi 
The thief does not come except to steal, to kill, and to destroy. I have come that they may have life, and they may have it more abundantly. So I want you to, to listen here the mission of Jesus. As a good shepherd, the mission of Jesus is different from the mission of Satan, the bad shepherd. The works of Satan, there are three. To steal, to kill, and to destroy. Everything the Satan does, it is combined these three things. So the definition of Satan so the definition of Satan, Satan in these are the, set, the, the definition of no Satan. Ni. He is a murderer. No he is a thief. No he is a destroyer. No so when you know these three things, you can never serve him. You will never serve him. Kuko, because Satan ngo, sata, wandenga nui, if you were to ask a servant to be justified by Satan, he'd rather kill you because that's his nature. He will steal you. If you ask him to justify you, he does not understand or know the vocabulary or the word. He steals from you. When we were young, eh, we used to have parents. Okay. Some of us, when we were young, other children would attack us. But when we had our elder brothers or sisters, we will know that they are going to present us. But for the Little boys or little girls who did not have the elders. The reason why we will call upon our, our brothers is because we had a, a relationship. So if someone serves Satan, when they are tried or tempted, they always run to the witch doctors for the for the solution. In other words, for instance, you ha you are burden, you you are barren, you go to the uh, witch doctors and say, Satan, I need a child. Or they will go back to same doc witch doctor and say, I am sick, I need to be healed. But the Bible says the Bible says he, what his work is to kill. So how can you ask a murderer to save you? Someone is killing you. But you're calling upon his mercy. You call the, him to have the mercy. That his opportunity to finish you. That's the nature of Satan. Whoever serves him. Whoever serves Satan. Whether it's through darkness or whether it's public. The rewards, the rewards he gives to you is death. Isn't it? If you call upon the mercy of Satan, Satan has a and it's a dictionary he will, If you call upon his mercy, he is clueless. He does not know the word mercy. Rather, he will give you the sword to finish yourself. Do you remember a proverb or, um, of the serpent and the dove? Quail. Oh, the quail. Inquire, much longer than the quail. The quail and the snake. Ukobza against any good. What happened here? Ishamba jara hi. The bush was burning. And the serpent came to the, to the squirrel and said, Please save me, you who can fly. 
The call said, how can I help you? But, but, say, carry me on your back. But, he said, come. He said, but your back cannot, but please let me wrap myself on your neck. He, and they allowed him to. Um, so the snake wrapped himself on the neck of the quail. The quail flew because the bush was burning. In, when they got to the middle, the quail said, You are choking me. Please let it go. But I can't see but and, and the snake said, it is my nature. I cannot let you go. That's how I have to do. But the snake said, it is my nature. Each time she, he will, the, the crow will cry out that you're killing me, you're choking me. But the snake will say, that's my nature. Inquire yagiye kuva mu ishamba igwa hasi yapfuye kuko inzoka yayinize. Kandi inzoka yari zikuri migira neza. Ariko kuko kamera yari ukwica. So the snake, its nature was to pull harder or tighter, even though it, could, it, it thought it was doing better, but the job and the nature of the snake is to stretch and, and, and hold tighter. So by the time they landed, the bird was already dead. The bird was already dead. Because of the good deeds. So we have beautiful young men. We have handsome young men. Who love people. Who love God. But the snake has been wrapping them on their neck. They are very handsome and beautiful. If you ask them to come and fix the church or decorate it, they will come, but they have a snake around their necks. So the problem, they are in a confusion of a friends. They know Satan also can do good. No. It's not true. Satan is a Satan has not done yes, anything. Yes, Jesus has defined him that there are three things in him. He, he steals, he kills, and he destroys. That's, that's certain. If you ever to be questioned about who's certain, Tell them it's a man who steals, who kills, and who destroys. So these are things that I'm going to mention that have been stolen Sa from you. Satan has stolen your health. You know the sugar that you have consumed. You know the cancer that is in you. You know the bones that have been hurt. You know the itching and scratching. You know all the abnormalities that you have. You had a good health before. But one certain night, Satan came and stole your health. That's why they are food that you cannot eat. But other can eat them. You looked at the food. You say, if I eat this food, I'm going to die because you have been told that you, go, you will die. Other will drink coke. Other will drink coke, but you will drink water because you know if you drink coke, you will die. So Satan stole your health. And also another thing he stole. He stole your wealth. You work like everybody else. You even work overnight. But you cannot have anything in your pocket. If you try to save even on top of your money that you make stimulus comes, something comes and steals it. And you go, you go back to the first, to the zero, you start over. I believe some of you have been in this situation. 
You sit again in the poverty as normal. When a God remembers you and you see a large amount on your check, one of your sisters or your siblings falls ill even though they have been well all the time. Or maybe a house gets some crackers. <laughs> or maybe water fills your floor. Or your car has something that is in the and takes all the money. Or maybe Africa has a kibazo. Or in Africa, a problem comes up and you are the one to be saved them. Even though nothing was wrong when you, ha when you didn't have money. By the time you are done sending the money, everything goes normal. So these are not things to take lightly. There is a thief that watches you each time you receive he steals from you. So when the money slips your way, if it were to be kept in the bank, you will have right now millions of dollars. But if we were to ask you how much you have in your account, <laughs> even coming, even coming here was not easy for you because your account balance isn't that good. <laughs> the way Glory to God, and this is a good thing that nobody is able to tell how much you have in your account. And it is a good thing because God always covers us. And another thing that he steals from us, your peace. You believe Changwe sima amuri kumwe munzu mwubatse amahoro akaba make mwasubira tari ko kera twakundana gabzagenze gute haruwaje kwiba amahoro ya that you be in love or you be loving someone maybe you're planning a wedding but Satan will come and steal the, the, your peace or the love that is between you like husband and a wife you will wonder we used to be in love but something has happened and this is the devil who is stealing the peace between your marriage abantu benshi mubona bubatse so many people that you see that are married, Satan always steals the peace of their marriage. He steals the joy of the marriage. There are people who will pretend and cover, but there are those that we see outside crazy. You wonder why do, are they acting crazy, but it's not because they have a mental issue, but there is a struggle in their marriage, the lack of peace. And the reason why they manifest the craziness outside, it's because they had kept it so long within them, at one moment they can't handle it. So they let it outside, and that's when we witness craziness in among people. So many people some people will share the story with you that each time I sleep, I have to take sleeping pills. No, uh, notice immediately that the bed that they sleep in, there is the lack of peace. So when we pray for this person, we don't pray for the pills to, uh, to put a uh, stop to the uh, pills, but we pray for the uh, peace to come within a marriage. The joy is taken away. The, uh, the pleasure, the joy is gone. The peace is gone. And the 
Because someone is pretending covering all the, the, the lack of peace within them. But those who watch and can tell the details, they'll say, I notice there's something wrong within this person. So, the, uh, so the, 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 so the people of this country, they don't like to get crazy. They cannot handle it. They live it in the peace. That's why they will always see they remarry once or twice or three times, even ten. Why? I don't want you to take away my peace. And this is where it gets even worse. Someone will take <laughs> away his peace. <laughs> Some people are pretending to be Christians. They're pretending to be Satan Certain he will use his strategy to use one of the couple and trouble the other and let you sleep as if you have a peace. You will even get to a point of snoring, not knowing that if you have provoked the other person, he can even get to a point of killing you. That's how Satan uses people. <laughs> I don't know where you get I don't know where you get that piece of sleeping and snoring when you have troubled or causing the lack of sleep to the other person. Satan the better way to have a peaceful sleep is, is when you ask for forgiveness or you get along with the person with you in the bed. Otherwise, Satan always whispers other things in their ears. Yeah. <laughs> So if some if you don't get along in the bedroom and one kicks out the other in to go sleep in, in the on the couch, remember the door, the bedroom door is not locked. That person can be attacked mentally by the evil spirit of Satan and returns back to kill you. There's something that people forget. The, the wife, you always ignore this. The wife isn't your sister and the husband isn't your brother. You know the, your wife is not your sister and your husband is not your, your brother, but yet you provoke them and you fall asleep. Only by the grace of God we are alive. We are alive. We always need to fight to bring peace in our bedroom, to bring peace in our marriage. Do you know what Satan does here? Once he has stolen from you, he kills. Once he steals the peace, the next thing is to kill. If he's not satisfied by the murdering you, he destroys you. 
kimura nimura so mu nyamakuru hano ngo umugore cyangwa umugabo ngo yajanyu abana na umugore arabatwika mwari mu abisoma burya biba byaravuye mu kwiba bikajya kukwica bikajya kurimbu some of the news that you always see about the families one killing or one uh, taking the entire family and kill it, kill it or committing the crime of murdering them one way or the other so it started this there was a stealing first and killing and then destruction so satan stole the, ble the spiritual blessings and also the tangible blessings so uh, brothers or sisters Will not greet one another. You will, you will see that brothers are greater You will find jealousies among siblings, whether if one prospers, the other gets the, the jealousy over them. This is shame. Normally, when a brother or sister prospers in life, you expect that the whole family will prosper. But the evil spirit makes you anger. That's how Cain murdered his brother Abel. That's how Cain murdered his brother Abel. That's how Cain murdered his Simply just because God said that I'm pleased by the offering of Abel, can the anger came in him and say, now that you, are, you have been pleased by just him, I'm going to kill you. Normally, Cain was supposed to look up to the offering of Abel. Cain was the brother to Abel. He was the one to cover and protect him. But he was the enemy of Abel. So when Satan comes, the one to protect you is the one who kills you. George, Just in Minneapolis, in, um, uh, in Minnesota, you saw the, the police officers Chauvin who uh, murdered George Floyd. Who the police are asking to come fight? I, 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 the police were supposed to take him and do good for him because he was protecting him. No. So Is the mistake. So going in the prison. Being taken to prison. It's not an evil thing. When you go to prison, you are being protected. And also is to give you a moment to think, how did I get here? So this is the job of the police. The police will come and speak with you and say, why did you do this? Police will come and speak with you and say, but a police who handicaps you and also kneel on you, knowing that he's kneeling on the most sensitive vein, because they know there is a vein when they press it, you, are, you can die or you will die. The one who's supposed to protect you is the one who murders you. And this is the act of Satan. It is scary. So all of us here, we have marks of what things Satan has stolen from us. And when did he come? When we were sleeping. There is a time of being distracted in life. There is a time of wandering in life. So that moment, Satan comes and steals all of your things. So a thief cannot stay longer in your house. 
They can only take time when you are sleeping or when they cause you to sleep. Ariko iyo muryamye gatoya bakarikira amasegonde baterura televiziyo bakiruka bajyana ikintu bakiruka ndi batinda. Na Satani nawe areba cyagiye dusa n'abatagifitanye ubusabane n'Imana akatwiba vuba vuba yiru. Normally, if you just fall asleep, they will come and take whatever they are going to take. But Satan watches when you have no fellowship with God and comes and steals from you. Remember the story of the wheat. wheat. And, and, uh, ah. Okay. okay, the wheat and the weed. The Bible says because they ask when we planted it was wheat so when did the wheat the wheat grew but they responded when you were sleeping the enemy came and planted the wheat that's why a Christian is not allowed for a backslide. No. No. We, we are not going but to move forward. It is written in Hebrews 13, 10, 37, 10, 37 or 38. Say, for us, we are not to backslide and destroy our lives but we are of going forward we are going forward it is a shameful for some Christians, some members to have a time when they are on and off. You will assume they have hormonal issues. But sometimes they say, and you are shocked, or uh, you, you have no shame to say, oh, he's in a revival right now. But they should remain in that revival moment. Because when you backslide, there's so much things that the devil steals from you. So, we have no right to backslide. Do you understand this? We have no right to go back. When we go back, it takes time and takes much effort to bring to what the devil is stolen from us. I believe the one I believe the one who gets up and falls back, they don't understand the evil of Satan. Satan For a moment, if you allow Satan to use you or to serve Satan, <laughs> he will steal from you. He will not kill you yet. Kukuiba. He will make sure he steals every little of yours. Uga sus, uga inzuki, and you will, st you will remain like a, be a beehive without bees. They will see you up here or they will see the, up, the appearance but you are empty within you. empty. And the empty Mari people, mubusi. the people with emptiness, but they used once to have something in them. The, they will always share the past, the things that they did, the things that Jesus did, what happened. The Jesus is the same. Jesus is the same yesterday, no, you must today, and he will remain forever. In him, there's no change. There's no a cloud of changing. Even an image of changing. The shadow is not grace. Oh, yeah. Igichuchu. The shadow it is the projection of the light that sends your image away. 
Dore gicucu cyanjye. You can see my image. Sinjewe. It's not me. Ariko nuko mfite amatara hejuru. But because there are lights up on top of Ngo muri Yesu. So in Jesus. Kihaba ni gicucu ko yahinduka. There is no a shadow that he can change. Ta gicucu cyo guhinduka. There is no a, a shadow to change. Abamwizeye nabo. Whoever believes in him. Kuva munsi bamwemereye. From the day they I believed in him. Bagiye bava mu bwiza baje mu bundi ntabwo basubiye inyuma. And they went from glory to glory never back. Ubu buzuse bwabo buri yongera aho gusubira inyuma. So the revival goes higher. Bwana sefiwe. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We don't go back. That is not our calling. We have been called to go forward. We have been called to go from glory to glory. For once when we go back, Satan is still so much from us to us. Uh, to be able to regain them will take us years. Satan inashobora batera imbere, ashobora basubira inyuma. Satan cannot afford to face the ones who go forward, but he goes after those who go backward. Do you know what Jesus told the people? An important thing. Ngo mwigire kuri mukaloti. Say learn from the uh, Lord's wife. Ngo mwigire kuri mukaloti. Learn from Lord's wife. Mukaloti yagize ati. What happened to her? Yasubira inyuma. She went back. She turned back. The people that I take to Israel, we get to the valley of salt. We see a, mount, a mountain that has uh, a pillar with, of salt in a, in a female image. Who doesn't know the story? They will tell us the history. They say that's Lot's wife. It's on a mountain of soul. There's an image of a female. We have so many people who turn to the pillar like Lord's wife. The reason it's because they turned back. How can you be one day a muyumbe, another day you are out of it? No, You are taking so much Satan out of you. Satan is stealing from you. You know how much effort it takes you to regain the joy that you have lost. For that reason, David wrote the Psalm 51, crying out, God, restore the joy of salvation. Among the things that he prayed oh Lord, restore the joy of salvation within me. Because my, heart, my, burns, my bones are burning. I have a trust to keep so quiet, but I have failed. So I have been stolen. Something great has been, has been stolen. The joy of me. He cried. Say, oh Lord. Restore the joy of salvation. From Psalm 51. And all carrying on. Joy was restored in the book in the Psalms 130. When people came to see him with anointing from God, they put on him. Look, 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 from Psalms 51 to, to Psalms 151, he lacked the joy until people came with anointing from God and pulled over to him. So the loss of joy, the loss of peace, just because you smoked cigarettes, but because you, you, drink, you, took, you drink alcohol, it's going to suck all the joy out of you. Because 
amata niba kunaniye nwa mazi waje kwiga mave ushaje ibi bintu ko muri yamburu munezero wagakiza oh that you have re, re arrived in the city that you are going to drink wine back home. You used to drink milk and water. He never knew even the grapes itself or where the, the wine comes from. When Paul got to Ephesus, he saw people who are civilized or the Christians. When he got to their homes, he, before they eat, they would, they would drink wine. Bituma yohereza urwandiko igice cya gatano 18 ngo ndi mu gasinda inzoga ziri mu bukubaganye ngo ahubwo nkuzura umwuka we And he, he, that for that reason he, he wrote a letter and a piece to them and saying do not drink the alcohol and, uh, but be filled with the holy spirit Ngo nkuzura umwuka we Be filled with the holy spirit Musinda umwuka we Be drunk of the holy spirit Mureke kwigira ibitangaza Do not make yourself Ko murasubira inyuma ngo ni civilization Turning back of the civil civilization. You are backsliding because you have reached somewhere. Yes, you have reached America, but you are not in a complete salvation. Because there is a glory yet to be seen. Moses Moses, he saw God in the bush. Moses, Moses he, he, he used the staff. Moses, Moses he saw the angel of God. Moses, Moses he told God, if you don't come with me, I'm not going. He was going from glory to glory. So Moses told God, I got out once. But it's not enough. I want to see you. I want to see you. I need you more. He will go from glory to glory. And I got told Moses. Okay. Come, let us meet. Say, Moses, listen. Let me tell you the truth. If you look my face, you will die. And my mission that I gave is yet to be completed. But let us make a deal between you and I. There is a rock there. In that rock, there will be a, a, there will be a, a, a broken wall there. Let us take a peek in that rock. But, because when somebody looks at me that I will put my hand and you'll be across and I'll be here. Say so nearby you there is a rock. When I press my hands on it, I will turn and show you my back. But if you are standing here, you are going to at least go home with, with seeing my back because it's a, if I show you my face, you will die. So Moses will go from glory to glory. And Moses said, yes, I'm okay seeing your back. God show him his back. And then he said, say, I'm not satisfied. I'm not satisfied. I want you whole. The Hebrew says, Jesus, he was the, the image of the invisible God. The invisible God. And Thomas says, show us God. And Jesus said, whoever sees me has seen him. When Jesus was about to depart from this world, he, he replied to the desire of the wish of Moses. Say, Moses, come and see me. You are not only going to see my God, you are going to witness my faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They went to the mountain of transfiguration. At that time, he was walking with Jesus. He had seen God's eyes. The rock that was struck was Jesus. He saw him first to face. Moses said, I am satisfied. Other go from glory to glory. Where do you go after glory? Where do you go after glory? What can take someone from glory? America. Is it America? Is it the ladies? Is it the young men? Is it the money? Is it the work? What, what can take you from one glory to another? 
Glory to Jesus. Where do you go? Where do you come from? We are not of turning back and destroy our lives. But we move forward for us to save our lives. The short time that you return back, there's so much loss in your spirit. So what brought me in these three days is to give you the capital to your losses. That's what brought me in this conference. The Bible says go from the beginning and repent then go back to the right ways Go, go where you fell or you fall and carry on the journey. Glory to God. Go from the beginning where you lost all. If you lost your passport in the airport, you go back to the same location. If you lost your passport, if you lost your phone in the, in the market, you go back to the same shop. So where do you go now? We have so many, we have so many handicaps here because of their turning back. We have so many people uh, who are working on, on canes because they've lost so much in their spirit. They've been, they are confused. They lack the joy. They have lost the wing of salvation. The glory is taken off them. And David cried out, said, Gee, God restored the joy of, my, of salvation. Restore the joy of salvation. And made me a new heart that will never go back again. Create, make me another heart. <sighs> a new heart. In the book of Ezekiel, God told them, I will take you the turning back of your heart. And Jeremiah, I will put in you the strength of carrying you on and never turn back. Glory to Jesus. In the problems, we advance forward. In the struggles, we advance forward. In the hatred, we advance forward. In the being despised, we advance forward. No matter what, we carry on forward. Hallelujah! 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 Hey! Hallelujah! Do <laughs> Hallelujah! We are not of turning back for Satan will steal from us. No. Never. Who, 
No one can take me back. Who is this person to take me back or be able to take me back? What's the image? What, is, what does he have? Is he made in gold? The things, the things or the people who carries you back where you came from, what are they? And Paul said, from the day I knew him, the things of my value, the things I loved the most, they all became a loss to me. And when I, looked, when I looked at them, they are rubbish to my eyes. Amase nabanyarwanda bakoresheje kinyabupfura The random Muri tradition ariko mu kigiri kinizindi ndimi na amase y'umuntu The Bible talks about it as a rubbish or the pieces of us na amase y'umuntu ikinyarwanda banze gukoresha iryo jambo ariko birantangaza muri Ezekiel bararikoresha aho aho yateka umutsima ngo ngo agashiraho ibishwemu bya amase y'umuntu barikora ariko kuri Paul ndi barikora ngo Narabibonye byose ngo bya bindi byandangaza gabikansubiza nyo ngiyo mbibonye mbona ari umwanda nta muntu utinda mu mwanda we uhaguruka wiruka mwese ni mubize ko muta utinda mu numwana iyo pampers mu mereye nabi araririka amenya ko ari kumukuramo umwana arimara kuba ngo nkura huye umwanda kuki abantu batinda mu mwanda Paul wrote this and he was very specific and he said, everything that was so pleasing to me, everything that was a pleasure to me, when I looked at it, it is rubbish like a human visit. Why do we take time dwelling in our own, in our own dirty? We are not of back, backing, uh, going back. Never. Never. I have decided Sadusunda was captured. And the family said, now you believe in Jesus. Yes, I have, I am born again. It was, it, was, it was coming from a family, a very strict family of India. The family of Sadhu. They were Hindu. The religion of Hindu never believed in any other religion. The uncle came with a gold, with a, a bottle full, uh, filled with gold. Sadhu, please do not put our family to shame. Here, this gold belongs to you. He said, he said to his uncle, listen. Amen. Had you given me this gold yesterday, yes, I would have taken it. But today, I have known Jesus in his way greater than the gold that you're giving me. Say, the child is being so difficult. The family said, let us put him into the water. Say, Sadhu was taken to the Indian Ocean. He was drowning. He did not know how to swim. Almost when the breath was out, they took him out of the Indian Ocean. They pumped all the water out of him. He was conscious again. He said, do you still believe in this Jesus? He looked at the fa his father. The father, his own father was the one doing this to him. He did not respond to him, but he sang. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. Kumufuata Yesu Sita Rudi Sita Rudi They put him back again Very weak He started to drown again They took him out With a little breath left Do you still believe and love this Jesus? He sang. The cross ahead. The world behind me. The cross is ahead me. The world is behind me. I will, I will never return. I will never go back. Say, let him go with his Jesus.
Sitarudi, sitarudi. I will never return back. So I'm here to tell you today. Repent to never go back again. Because you have lost so much. The day that she went back, if you were able to see how much she lost, the tons and tons of your blessings that she lost, you would never decide to go back again. Oh, man. Say, God, we are dwelling longer in this wilderness. It's because you do not obey. For 40 years in the wilderness, the place that they were, could only travel for two weeks. Their lives, their lives was between the Kadesh Barnea and Pan, I mean Param. Kadesh Barnea and Param. They will circle around in the wilderness. We are to vote. Of the wilderness of Ratvot, when they go from Yatvot, they will find themselves in Yezion Gibe. From Yezion Gibe, they go back to the same sea where they came from. So, where is Canaan now? It's because she went back. Guys, the promises are Terry. The promises are ahead. You are going f uh, forward to it, But when you backslide, the promises remain the same past. Promises do not move. They are steady in the same place. The reason why you don't get to them is because you backslide. You think the promises are far from you. Yet you are the one who moves backward from it. Ukwima ni yatanga yakome jwe na marazo yumami wacho isi isi ni bizava ho ijuru rikava uwizera uwizera azabo ayo ma Isi yo se isi ni Zavaho Ijuru Vikavaho Uwise Raazavo Hayoma Sezera Hallelujah 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 all the promises of our God to you is there. The problem is not the promises. You get to a point of achieving them and there's a power pushing you back and you leave the promise in the same spot to a point that they will die without seeing the promises being fulfilled to them. All the, the tombs that you see, they are filled with the people who had the dreams and visions, but they were never to achieve them. The tombs that you see around here, they are filled with people who had dreams, who had things to even bring the heavens back to them, but they could not achieve them because they will always go back. Do not go back. Do not go back. But when you are about to commit a sin, always think about the, the steps that you are about to make. Joseph. Joseph. Joseph saw the sin coming, approaching him, and how he was going to take him out of the promises, and he ran away from it. But Cain, it came and knocked on the door. He opened for the sin to enter. And a guy told him, I've seen the sin coming to your door. You, you welcome the sin. 
Now can okay. you would live like other men, but you'll be a wanderer around the world and you will walk with fear. This was a son of Adam whom was created by God. So when we speak about Ken, we see the evil that was in him, but he was the son of Adam who did not live in the promises because he opened the, for the sin to enter and he became a wanderer. But for Joseph, the one who flee from the sin, the one who Potiphar. The day they were working with him in the city, well, he said, this I overcame it on the day at the Potiphar's house. That's the day <laughs> there are young lady and men or men and wife and women who will come and anoint me, please. I want to be like you. But you don't know how much effort uh, Joseph put into the fleeing the wife of Potiphar. Umutima wa wesi modoka yobashiramo esanse buri mwanja kugira ngo igende. Umutima wa ugomba kurindwa. Your heart is not like a car that uh, uh, gas is put in him in, in, in it every time to drive it. Your heart is an important thing to be guarded and to be protected. Stop that thirst for you to be able to enter into your promises as well. Yes, so what brought Jesus? Now you have heard what brought Satan. The three things. Kuiba. Kuiba. To steal, to kill, and to destroy. Jesus, look this. This man is going to finish my people. Let me also come. This, he kills. But for me, the people that he kills, I will give them life. If I find the one he had killed, I will breathe to them and they will live. When they live, when I looked in them, I shall see Jesus said, I may, and they, I will give them abundant life. They will have abundant life. Salvation has a package. package ya and what is this package of salvation? Deliverance from sin. And eternal life. And the second Nubukire. is the wealth Gutunga. to be rich. Ichakata. And the third a good health. Ichakane. And the fourth Nubukire. it's a blessing. Ichakata. A fifth Nubukire. is the righteousness. Turuvika. You listen. These are the things that brought Jesus. There are people who always complain they preach about blessings, but remember, Jesus brought blessings for us. The first blessings we have, blessing we have. it's because we have the life of Christ in us. Uzimanina omoyo ni dai Uzimani Yesu mokozi Ali ingi ya roho ni haki ka aka ni ya hoda Nashi ba roho Kwara haya mungu na moto wambi guulimo na pata kuka anuru ni kabi sana nuru ni yesu moko. He gave us the 
life. He came to give us life. The Bible says whoever receives him receives life. And the second, he became poor for us to be rich. He came to give us wealth. What I'm saying to you, are you getting it? Because these are, because these are things we are going to pray to be restored in us because they've been taken away. Yes, we are the Jesus came to give us richness. This, a, a child of God who's wealthy. He was birthed in the, the, rock. In the rock. In the rock. If you see where Jesus was birthed, it's shocking. It was in the rock. The barn of back then there were rocks with the holes in it. This is the place where Jesus was built. In Jerusalem there were hotels. There were great hospitals. On the reign of Romans, it was civilized. But Jesus was birthed and he was given one clothes, one slipper for you to live well, for you to be blessed. Amen. The issue with us, we think being rich is for certain people. I don't have that mindset in me. No. No. Never. Why, do, why should I have the category of certain people being wealth? Why not me? I also can be like them. That's how it's supposed to be. And that's how it is. When you know Jesus, you are rich. And you should never allow Satan to steal that from you. Also, he gave us good health. Jesus was never sick. Mm -hmm. No, he never cried for <laughs> headaches. <laughs> but some of us have headaches. Ibuprofen. 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 Jesus never walked around with the painkillers <laughs> like ibuprofen or Tylenol. No. No. Yes. Jesus. He became the weary, the tired, the poor for to enable you. Yes. Jesus carried the, the curse and blessed me. Yes, he carried my sins and he gave me his righteousness. I have no right to carry it to go back and pick what Jesus was crucified for. If you have fallen into sin, do not complain of Jesus because he gave you his righteousness and he carried your sins. Oh, didn't you see that I was tempted? You were with the sin and you saw the sin coming your way but you did not flee from it. Jesus, yes, will let you go. It is you have your right. It is you who's losing. You are the one losing. Whether you commit sin, whether you don't, he is always the king. Whether you worship him or not, he has the people to worship him. No, yes, yes. Jesus will always remain Jesus. But he gave it all to you. 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 To you. To you. you. To you. belong to you and your descendants and your great-grandchildren. It is your promise and your people and your nation and your people and all your siblings. You have a right to live well. 
You can you Hallelujah! Hallelujah! My heart is delivered because I have a joy, I have a peace, because I've driven closer to God and to the Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Today you must break through, have a breakthrough and achieve yours. The thing that we're going to enable you to have a breakthrough is the, the fellowship with Jesus. The fellowship between you and Jesus. We sharpen you to a way of having a breakthrough in the, in the, in the sky. Go closer again to him. Closer to him. If you have known that he is good, if you have tested and you know his goodness, if, if you have tested it, him and you know he's sweet, he's good, do it again and get closer to him. He is the right rock that he was re rejected. But for us who know him, he is the cornerstone of our lives. Amen. He is the rejected stone. But to us who believe in him, he is the cornerstone of our lives. Nirjorikome zifuruka Take a rest in Jesus. Every, everywhere else is at sand. Oh, say, no, say, yeah. 
It is God revealed in a trinity. They were at Abraham when they were about to bless him. They questioned, Where is Sarah? And they said, She is at the entrance of the tent. Saying, this is a woman who does not wander around. She is co- going to conceive and born a son. But those who are like you, those who are like useless people, they wander around. Even the day God comes to bless you, He can't find you anywhere. You have no address. You go from one church to another you have no address on the day of God's visitation he will question your pastor where are you, where is he remember the day the, vis- the angel came to visit Abraham they asked where is Sarah and he was able to look at her she is in the tent so where are you? Where are you standing? Where are you sitting? Where can the miracle find you? Yes, Where can Jesus find you? Where in the spirit? Where can you be located? There are people who have lost the radar in the spirit. Recently, the Marines of Indonesia. The submarine in Indonesia. They lost the signal of the radar that was on, 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 the, uh, in the, on the land. The people who observe the sea. Those who watched or observe the sea. They could not find them on the radar. They, they could not locate them a submarine. They wrote, they, they, they reported that we have lost the signal or the connection with those submarines. They could not locate them. You know what happened? 50 dead bodies, 54 dead bodies were, were recovered. 54. 52. Oh, 52. 
dead bodies. Because they lost the connection or the signal with the radar. They, they were not commanded by the above operation and they died. There are so many So many people have lost the signal, the connection with God, and a God cannot find you. So I have come with you, I have come to you today to be able to restore that connection. Recently in Florida. At the port where he called the John Kennedy, Hagiye Mubiogajuru, Aba Sorevane, by your way, France, Witwa Thomas. Among the satellites, there were four satellites sent, and they were led by one of the men called Thomas from France. Bagiye mu kugira ngo bajye muri orbit bakomeze bazenguruke isi bareba nu kwezi kuko abanyamerika barashaka kongera gusubira mu kwezi bagiye babafatira amafoto barebe uko bimeze. In the satellite they went so they could monitor or observe the moon because Americans have plans of going back there. So they went to observe and take picture images. Mu kirere hejuru so uh, in the sky where they were in the air, there was an international spaceship. So there is a thing called, or there is a port called international spaceship. It's a spaceship that is big as a, as a stadium. So the Russians put that thing there. So when they go into the space, and the space we carry them into the, that field. So when they end to the space, so they found people who were there for months so their job there so they are taking images of the space and the earth they are doing their researches I was just reading their news yesterday recently so when they arrived there they were welcomed and received and embraced by their fellow so Thomas, Thomas from France, who was leading the team, he had a, a wireless microphone. He started to communicate with those who were in Florida. So this news was live around the world. As you can see, with a microphone, we have arrived in peace. He's speaking and he's communicating with those on earth in Florida. Why? They are in the same network. They are in the same network. They have one signal. Same way with a Christian. My flock knows my name. And I know their name. Because we are in the because we are in the network of heaven. We are in the network of God. Yes. They are in the space. In the space. But they are communicating with those on earth. You cannot communicate with those of yours in a village. But they have a network they can communicate with those in the space. I have so much to share with you, but I don't want to take much of your time today. I just want to question you in spirit. What is your address? Where, where are you? Sarah at the entrance of the tent. The child came into the, her house. Naaman was in the network. Just put, being put in Jordan, all the leprosy was gone. Do you know what he, did? he said before? 
He said, we have a good river as a Papa and Bana, but they told him they might do be good, but they have no network. The mad servant said, listen, had he not asked you great things, wouldn't you give him? Go, just, there is a network in, in Jordan. You always bathe yourself in a path. Bana, you always swim in the Just try, Jordan. Do you know what happened? At that time, the Israelites. <laughs> they have said, all oh, the lepers, oh, the lepers will go. They will send them away, expel them. They built a camp next nearby Jordan River. Elia, Elisha, Elisha, Naman, he sent Naman so, so that people would know and see that there's a network in it. Naman, Arasa, Naman came with all the chariots. He was a general. After he had humbled himself, he came back with the military around him. The people in the, graffiti, in the camp, they said, who is that? Said, so that's the general from the, uh, from the Arab, from Syria. You know, people of came. They like to watch. They like the story. But they don't like to go in. Naaman come. The general with so many stars on his shoulder. He took off his, his jacket. After he took it off, he took off his clothes. He entered into the water. Women who we, we we pinch said the leper, the leper. Said that the thirst of the general. They know how to talk, but they don't know how to enter the Jordan. So Naaman entered. Elisha had told him, Go and dip yourself seven times. So even for the one who, did it, who missed it, will be able to get there. He, was, he commanded him to go in seven times so whoever missed it will be able to who miss the first time will see the seventh time. Seven times the general will dip himself into the water. The first time goes in, out, he goes in and the leprosy filled his body. They could see it because they are same just like I think there are men who will always point his worst than I. I don't think I'm not sick like him. He really needs to go to the But on the seventh time, when he came out, his body was of a child. He came out the water. They checked his shoulders. They take his zakis. They were all well. Less. He's well, he's made well. This man is a witch, he goes into hell. Aha. No. And others said, Did you see how many times he went? In? <laughs> he was drowning. I saw it. They were going to details that had no benefits or interest. He goes back home. And Jesus said, The time of Elisha, the Naaman, the foreigner, the Jordan, he came into Jordan. The, the leprosy of you did not get to where, but the leprosy of Herman was healed. Why? Connection, network, they they re, they receive connection or the network, but they never entered. Are you ready today to go in into Jordan? So that the leprosy that you have for a long time will go away. Greater, greater than Jordan today is the blood of Jesus Christ. 
Repeat network. I will go back to my network. Let me finish by saying Moses. Snakes bite people severely. And God told him, Make a silver snake. Do you know where he got the silver? From the chains, the necklaces of women. So give me all your, your jewels. What's for Moses? Say, I want to make a snake and I'll put it up there. If you've been bent by a snake, when you look at it, you'll be healed. <laughs> this man, here's a boat yeah. thing. Yeah. And, and the husband said, darling, please give him. They all gave him their chains, their jewels. And the other will say, actually, Moses, you don't know how to make a, a snake out of this gold. Let us but he told them, whatever you do, make but, hey, an image of snake. Can, can so, oh, kajige. so and so, they know how to make snake. They bring them out of tents. They will come and make it really good. Make it really good. And the son of a jackal, what they are going to do. do. They call him, they name him the, his mother's name. His, <laughs> this, this, these men will be making the snake as he instructed them. Then, other men will say, you are short, let us make it even higher. Then hang it up. They hang it up the snake and left. They say the sons of Yokebed and Amram, they always lie to us. They refuse to look up on the snake. Thousands die. But the one who connected it, the one who looked up to the snake, or the sting, the sting of, of, of the snake came out of him. So nowadays, what are you paying attention to? What distracting you these days? What is distracting you, my brother? Look up where your redemption comes from. Look up again. Where your salvation comes from. I want you to love Jesus once again. I want you to be connected with Jesus once again. Or else, whatever we say will be in vain. Jesus is the foundation of our faith. If you have fallen, if you have fallen into his hands, you've been redeemed and saved. The woman being stoned when he fell to the feet of Jesus, he was well. Bartomeh on the road of Jericho, he, he met with Jesus and he was well. Lazarus. Lazarus who was died when Jesus got there he was risen today Jesus can do the same to you we are going to pray this moment for you to connect again with God for you to have fellowship with Jesus salvation is near than ever before the night is, is growing. 
The night has grown. And the salvation is near. Than the, the time we accept it. Take off for the works of darkness. And put on the sword, the armors of light. This is the time to get closer to Jesus. This is the time to get closer to Jesus. It is the time to get closer to Jesus. Behold the car Riding on the cloud Shining like the sun As a trumpet call Lift your voice It's year of jubilee Out of Zion sea Salvation Behold, he comes riding on the cloud, shining like the sun. As the trumpet call, lift your voice, it's year of jubilee. Out of Zion's hill, salvation. Salvation is near. Salvation is near. He has come to give us life. Abundant life. Receive the life that you lost. Receive the life that you lost. If you want to restore the fellowship with Jesus, please stand up. He came to seek the lost. He came to seek the lost. He came to seek the lost. And this is the day of restoration of the fellowship. Restoration of, of your fellowship with Jesus. To come closer to him than ever before. Oh, 
우리 위에 우리 우 예비지마 할렐루야 리코 리코 메지 아피티에 아피티에 지시 오후 무기가사 오후 하리모 입지사고 우사 위네세 세수무 안피티에 안피티에 하르르 무기가 Use them and they shall work and serve you. Restore the stolen things. Restore what Satan stole. Have mercy, O God. The stolen to be restored. Restore the joy of salvation in them. Restore the joy of salvation in them. The joy of salvation. Salvation in them. Bukomera. The greatness. Bukungana. The righteousness. Bukiranuka. The righteousness. Kuda subiri nyuma. To never go back. Bukomezimbere. To advance forward. Yesu. Oh Jesus. Ongera kando chome kana na bana. Again, connect with your children. Chome kana na bana ba. Connect with your children, oh God. Bavarire ibzaha wakoze. Forgive all their sins against.
against you, God. The sins that separate them from you, God. The sins that took them back, oh God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. If Zakira and Virangire, the order is finished. If Zakira and Virangire, the order is finished. If Zakira and Virangire, the order is finished. Zosan Vivisha, all is new. Vakira Gusubi in Yuma, may they never go back. Uvakiza Gusubi in Yuma, God take them forward, never go back. Uvakiza Kugwa, God guide them to never fall. They shall go from glory to glory. They shall go from glory to glory. Grace over grace. Amahoro. Peace over peace. Love over love. Strength over strength. Wealth over wealth. Greatness over greatness. Jesus. Jesus. They are steps, God. They are hands. They are eyes. They are ears. To focus on you. If the fools of Zabo, their desires to be you, their hearts to look up you, their strength to come from you. Jesus. May they look upon you only. Only to you. Jesus. Jesus. Yes. Oh, Jesus. Yes. Oh Jesus. Ria Bashiko. 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 Ria Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Harimo, Harimo, Ibiza Gusa, Vileze, Zumu, Harimo, Harimo, Ibiza Gusa, Vileze, Zumu, Harimo, Harimo. Hallelujah. Yes, we. Ah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. We are going to the prophetic sign. 
make two steps forward. I will tell you, let's go and we'll go forward. We will make the first and the second and put your, your feet together. These steps, they symbolize that you will never go back. I would like you to move around wherever you feel comfortable moving. Because two steps spiritually, two steps spiritual that you're going to make, they are equal to 2,000 years. When I say move, you will go from with a first left, left leg. You make the first, the second, and the third. You bring your legs together. Good. We are going to make steps forward. Spiritually, see yourself going to another level. Those who are following me on, tele, on TV or on authentic radio, if you are in your bedroom, please stand up. If you're in your car, stay, stop. And get out. Make this prophetic act. The Bible says, I will save you from going backward. I will heal you. I will heal you from to backward. To backslide. I will heal you to backslide. I will heal you from backsliding. Go from, move your, from your chairs and just go around. Because this act will never happen again tomorrow. Praise God. Come forward. Come forward. You are going to make 2,000 steps ahead of you. You make two steps. Yeah. Songambele, songambele, zita kikurudi nyuma. Songambele, songambele, zita kikurudi nyuma. Wa baba musonge mbele, zita kikurudi nyuma. Wa mama musonge mbele, zita kikurudi nyuma. Vijana musonge mbele, zita kikurudi nyuma. Hallelujah! 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 Never go back. We move forward. 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 We will do one more time. You are lifting up mountains. Spiritually. The mountain that had stopped you, that had hindered you from going forward. We are standing in the in the in the uh, we are in the position of the prophet Zechariah. Who taught who taught the mountain before the rubber but it's a mountain who are you you are going to turn into into the valley and the rubber but will walk like in the valley why you Watoto musonge mbele Sita kikurudi nyuma Watu wote tusonge mbele Sita kikurudi nyuma Hey! Hallelujah! Okay! Pratike tuwaifash Tugiegutege ka ikiere chos 
We are going to commend the, the entire heaven to obey this act of prophecy. Prophetic act. You heaven, listen. You earth, listen. Someone here, the history is going to change. You fall winds, listen. There is a prophetic sign here. Let it go. The steps of this man. Here. The steps of this woman. She he is going to enter where God wants them to be. They are going to enter where God planned them to be. You four corners for, for heaven. Listen. Let it go. The steps of children of God. One step. It's a thousand miles. Second mile. It's a mile. It's a mile. In 2000 miles, you achieve what God has given you. Hey! Hallelujah! You were far from your, your promises. But we have been drawn near by the blood of Jesus. Oh. Hallelujah! 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 Two thousand years ago, yes, Jesus was crucified at the cross. You were far from the cross. You are being drawn near to the cross. Amen. What do I give you? You were far from the cross. Hirja yo musaraba, bona yo morera, no moon wa we kuzimu, wa mumuri, yamara we, yamari bere. We have been far from the cross. We have been far from the cross. We have been far from the cross. We have from to the hell, the pit of hell that stole everything that we have been far the our peace, our health, our 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 Hallelujah! 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 
Jesus. We receive. 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 We receive salvation. We receive blessings. We receive good for the good. We receive wealth. We receive good health. We receive glory. We receive glory and honor. We receive glory and honor. We are not done yet. Blessed are those who work according to the voice of the prophets. I'm not done yet. Please stay. Come back. Now. Now, as I'm saying, you are staying. Even the wind will never take you. Amen. Amen. Hey. Hallelujah. The power that pushes you back will never be able to do it. The place where you are standing, where you are standing now, there you are standing in a spot of promises some of you where you are standing it's at the Jordan like Naman and others it's on the road like Bartimaeus and some it's on the tree like Zacchaeus some of you you are in the boat of Peter where you are standing it is in the spot of a calling Amen Amen you are standing in the same position of David attacking Goliath do not go back without hitting Goliath with the same rock. Because you want to stand there. You say you may attack me with the spears. But I will attack you with the name. So you are standing in a position of confidence where you feel proud. So we are going to uh, push Goliath who has been standing on your way. He's standing in your promises. When you are in your time, they will even tell you that even half a country is given to you. By the time we leave this place, you will have to ask God whatever that you wish. wish. You know what troubles you the most? Look on the very first the very first one that troubles you the most. This is where it's going to come off. Amen. Hey! Hallelujah! You, you are you are standing in the same tree where the Shunammite woman was sitting. On the palm tree. On the under the, the palm tree. She said, I sat and I got drunk of the goodness. 
I will tell you the daughters of Jerusalem do not awake me because love has found me. I am drunk. I want you to be drunk. He overpassed me with the flag and that was his love over me. Jesus. Ooh. You are standing where in the position of David where he struck Goliath. In the spiritual, it's called the, the, the gate of ascension coming from the trials. The day he killed Goliath, Saul asked Abner, whose son is he? Have you been asked? You have not been in the position of being asked whose sons are you. And the Abner said, I swear to you, my Lord, I do not know this man, this young boy. We are not known. We are not known. But when we stand in this position, we are in the gate of being known, of being recognized. So many times you have been forgotten, but you are going to be remembered. You are standing in a good position. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you tired? You cannot get tired in this position. When Jesus comes, <laughs> he gets he gets the power pulls him says the chaos gets down. <laughs> when he gets there, <laughs> he say, he calls Bartimaeus come. <laughs> when he gets there, <laughs> says, let the young children come. <laughs> there is a spot where Jesus comes and he stands. <laughs> because there's something about he's about to do in your life. <laughs> you are Entering, you are about to enter into the calling of the gate of your, This is the gate of your promises. You get you will take of God. Be open for the glory of God to be manifested. You will take of the Lord. Be opened. Jesus. Hallelujah. Ooh. 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 Whose sons is he, Abner? I said to you, Lord, I do not know him. There are promises that you had so much of them. But today, I tell you, you are in the right gate. The cries, the cries from your home or from your house, you are the one to wipe them. You are, you are going to be wiped off. Okay. We are in that position. Take one step forward from your left leg. Then take the okay. rock. Get the heaviness, the weight of this, of this stone that you have in your hands. Listen to me. Do you see the giant, the Goliath that you have been struggling with? The behavior that you're struggling to let go. The problem that you're facing. Do you have the stone in your hands? Look first your Goliath. Not with this sight, the physical sight. The ones who saw Goliath with their sight, he was a giant to them. And they feared him. 
Dawdi. But the David, when he looked, his mind, he saw the opportunity of not missing when he threw, when he stones him. So the big, the, the size of Goliath. He gave him David the opportunity to not. Hallelujah! Pass. Hallelujah! The, good, the big, the size of Goliath. The giant of Goliath. He not miss. So the greatness of now, your power. When you struck this stone, it's, you are not going to miss it. Are we count one, Kabiri, two, gatatu, and the third time, kane, the fourth time, gatano, when I say five, let it go. He had five stones Ndabara in his hand. Are we count five? Hanyumu, let, it, let it go. I will tell you what to do next. Are we together? These things are real. Yes, Take a stone in your hand. One, Kabiri, two, three, four, five. Hallelujah. Mukanda gire, Mukanda gire, Muribate, Muribate, Mukanda Mukanda Temu Mutkawe, Temu Mutkawe, Temu Mutkawe, Temu Mutkawe, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Gumaho, Gumaho Gato, stand there, Gumaho Gato, stand there. Stand where you are. This is Goliath right next to you. You will chop off his head. And use his sword. Take his sword. With both hands, take it out. Chop off his head. Kabiri! Gatatu! Kane! Gatanu! Hey! Hallelujah! 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 Yes, we. Yes, we. Unvare. Listen. Goliath is gone. Goliath is gone. Umutwe wa umena gushi. You have you broke his head off. Iki siga yerero. What's next now? Ugomba gusubira mumganya wa kabumgami. Go back to your position of being a king. Uziko Dawdi. No David. Bari bara mugizu mushumba kanda rumami. He was made a shepherd although he was the king. Uziko bari bara tunzu mugami ariko bara mugizu muchakara. No they had the king but they made him a slave. Kugeza ishe Goliath ubwami buragaragara. Until he killed Goliath and the kingdom became became his. Ubwami bukwishe mwe ni bugaragara. May the kingdom that is hidden in you be manifested. The kingdom that is hidden in you to be manifested. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say I'm a king. I'm a priest. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Unvarero. Listen now. Igitano kanya ba mina bandi. The difference between kings. Ubuni waba yumami. Now you are a king. Waba yumami. Aren't you a king? Dori gitano kanya yumami na bandi. So this is the difference between kings. Yumami na kinu yifuz. A king does not. Desire anything. He has it all. Say, I have it all. I receive it all. They belong to me. <laughs> Samuel told Saul. So. Say stop hey, Stop there to go after donkeys Everything in Israel belongs to you 
So say you know I'm going after to look my father's donkeys. You're going after donkeys. Everything in Israel. And everyone is in the eyes of Israel. Are yours. 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 Are Donkeys, they, you lost control of your calling. They focus. Let it go. Let them go. The donkeys. Everything in Ohio belongs to you. Everything in Missouri belongs to you. Everything in Chicago belongs to you. Michigan belongs to you. Washington belongs to you. Washington belongs to you. Washington belongs to you. Everything in the world belongs to you. Everything in the world belongs to you. Everything in the world belongs to you. Do you, do you get the mindset of a king? The king does not go after cheap things. They are changed their priorities. Now you have become a king. The nonsense when they come to trouble you, let them go. You are not mine anymore. Everything else it belongs to me. That's the mindset of a king. Also, mindset of a king. A king. That's not hate. Because everyone belongs to him. A king hates no one. All the citizens are his. Whether they gossip to you, you are a king and they are yours. He said, you, I forgive you. When you looked at them, you are a king now. You don't go and gossip or uh, fight with your people. You need to understand your standard. What brought Haman down when if he focused on the gate guards? He was way high ranked. But he would always watch, observe if Mordecai kneeled for him. You always control who spoke about me, who no, no, gossiped no, no, no. about me, what they say about me. No. Those are nonsense, useless things, cheap things. You always have spies on things they say about you. Whether they talk about you or not, you are the king. Your standard isn't theirs. As I speak right now, I'm speaking to the king. You shall say, I am the king. I don't think you are repeating. I am Repeat, I am the king. You are the king, you are the queen here. Queen. Karame. Are you listening, kings and queens here? So your mindset should not be so low and cheap. The qualification or the descriptions of a king is the, one, is the one who does not question what am I going to eat or to dress. Do not worry about food or your clothing. The king is not troubled of what to eat. That is not the language of the king. A king will spend an hour without eating on his will. Na <laughs> Amen. 
a king that is not worried of what to dress. You are not. No, no. You are not in the same level, same standard. No. Ibyo byari wewe kera. Uyu munsi umuntu ni yambara neza wa wambaye neza. Ntuzongere kwi ako gakwitu gakuye. Ibyo ni byabatindi. Uyu munsi umuntu ni yambara neza ngo wambaye neza. Amen. Urasa neza. Apa no kwirugura ngo kare akamodo kaya kaguze gute? Ngo sugwe rwo gwawe. Ugwe ngo gwa bami nti birugureba ngo yakaguri yakamodo ka. No 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 no. Ahubwo umwama yaba abaturage be. Uriya nawe yabonye imodo ka. Igihugu cyanje kiratunze. Uriya nawe yabonye nane. Aba to Umwami ndagira ishari ivuga ngo amen. A king has is his own standard. You are not on the low level where you have to question every little thing that you see, like a new clothes, a new shoes, a new car. You are pleased by the achievement of others. Niba kubwira ngo yaguze inzu. If they purchase a home, ufuka mu bwo ngo mana ubwami bwanje abantu barimo barubaka amazu. You will say God glory to you because in my kingdom the people are building and purchasing their own homes. This is the prayer I pray when I am entered the place. I want you to hear it. I got this prayer from Paul when he was in the boat. He said, he said peace. Said the angel of the God that I serve has come tonight. I will serve you and serve the people with you. Listen. He said, be at peace. He said, I will get to Caesarea and since I am, so you are. So when I'm in the plane, I said, I'm going to so when I enter the plane, I say, God, I thank you. So I'm going to Columbus and I'm in this plane. Since these people are with me, we are going to get there in peace. So when did this prayer came to me? When I was with my father, my brother Reuben, and my wife, and our three sons, on the plane, a Belgium airplane yari yuzuye or called Saben it was full irimo abantu bakomeye there were great people in that plane ara ambassadeurs nari nzi barimo some ambassadors that i knew were Nabanji. in there and other people tugeze hejuru ya Italy when we were in the air of, in Italy indege iva hejuru irashita imetro 1600 kuja kwisa the the plane dropped 600 meters down ye nari niche kwidirisha I was sitting right next to the window. I saw it falling on the mountains with the snow on top. I could see it. So many people in the plane, on but, the plane. But, but, they became unconscious. Uh, their luggages fell. One of the, the Belgium hotels who was in the plane uh, was broken the back by one of the luggages. In a short two hours while I was watching, I saw a hand in the size of a man. When I took a look at it, it was be as big as the entire world. So the plane landed on that hand. And the plane I I saw the plane running on that poem. I was not dreaming. I was, at, I was looking on the window how we fell. And then I took a closer look, I saw the hand putting up the, up the plane and the plane was again on the right uh, attitude. In a short while, the same seat I was sitting on. Yuzura ho abantu bari bavuye kigiye banzi baravuga ngo twabibonye ngo twakize kuberaho. People came surrounding me and they told me we have seen it we just saw what happened and it's because of you. Iyo share inzu ubutumwa abantu bagira ngo nuko irata we ya nuko menye uwo ndiwe. 
When I share the story, you think that I'm proud of it, I'm proud of it, but because I understand the value and who I am. No, and you too should do the same. So when I'm in the plan, I always thank God that I'm in the plan. So when I'm in the plan, I always thank God that I'm in the plan. I thank God for I am with the, out the multitude of people. If, the, if we were to crash, we are not going to if so crash. Why did I do this? I did it because of them. Why did I do this? Why do I pray this prayer? It's because I know who I am. Where I am, there should be the security of heaven. The business I do is of heaven. I serve the heavenly king. He has, the, his, his, his obligation to protect me. So I can serve his people. So you are a king. So your people, your family, they are blessed of having you. A woman stood in a conference yes, after Jesus spoke. He said, Br uh, Blessed are the breasts that fed you, that nurtured you. The one who blessed you and it carried you on her back. She is blessed. Amen. Amen. Your mother is blessed because she carried you. Your father is blessed because he birthed you. Your siblings are blessed because you are related. Your brothers and your sisters are blessed because you are there for them. Repeat, I'm a king. Do not ever have a jealousy over anyone because they purchased the truck, because they purchased the car. You, uh, you, you spend the whole night with the heartburn. That's the spirit of slavery. We are on the, on the gate of, king, of kingship like David. Glory to God. King and queens, are you well? Now you understand your standard and there are things you shall never do again. Things that are so cheap. Paul called them. He said the calling that we have is a, a great high, call. It's a, a high calling. It's a high calling. A high calling. It is a high calling. Okay, I made the king stand too long. Kings and queens, glory to Jesus. Let me tell you another th a last thing. Uruyuki. A bee. Uruyuki. A bee. Iminsi. The life of a bee is a hundred. Bees are among the creatures that, lead, that work hard. It flies day and night. When it goes in the sky, it leaves a tracing so it will know its way to go back. So it goes it goes to seek the it goes to, to seek things of survive, survival far from his place, his place. It does not eat so it will, it will go to it provide for the queen bee. There are three categories or three types of bees in their beehives. There are, there are bees that, that seek to provide. They get very tired. If it's not killed early, it only has a hundred days. So when it gets back, it comes to 
comes and sleep at the door of beehive Bikomeza ruzenguruka. And she goes around the beehives. Hakaba ikindi gice cinzu kikiri hari. Another part of a bees. Zishinzwe gusingira ibyo ziri azazanye. Their job is to receive what the other bees brought in. Zanzuki. So these bees zikaryaho gato. They will consume a little. Zarangiza zikohereza ku kindi gice cinzuki ari bo bagarde koro barinzu umwamikazi. Then they will send the remaining food to the guards that protect the queen or the queen bee. Umwamikazi the queen bee ntaza ryubuka ibusanzwe aryubuka ibw'imbere bagwita ngo ni jelly jelly honey. The queen bee does not eat just regular honey. She consumes or she eats the jelly honey type. Buri yabuki bwita ngo no akarya abami. The jelly honey for the queen bee Nigo umwami kazi arya akarya abami The queen bee eats the honey the hun, uh, the the jelly, jelly the jelly honey Ziriya nzuki zirinze umwami So the the bodyguards of the queen bee Ibiryo zirya the food that they eat nukonka umurizo umwami kazi They suck the tail of the queen bee Ibzasigaye kukarya abami birigata umurizo wayo What remained on the hand, on the jelly honey it's what they suck the regular simple bee has a hundred days ariko kuko umwami arya neza agira imyaka 5 but because the queen bee eats well she lives 5 5 5 years <laughs> say so i am a king i will not die prematurely i will live i will not die zaramba i will live Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Zazindi zirika tumwami. The the bees that sucks from the jelly honey. Ziba ku imyaka itatu. They live for 3 years. Turumvikanye. Kuko zirarya ku biryo byasigajwe n'umwami kazi. Because they eat the leftover of the queen bee. Mu masto wa yubuki. So in the stalks of honey. Jelly honey irahenze cyane. Jelly honey is the most expensive type of honey. If it longevity. Because it had the longevity. Abarya abarya kuko nirare buriya buki buragoye kubona buryo bakire cyane kuko burahenze kubona. It is rare. Rubanda rubanda bose barya ubuki busanzwe. Ariko abantu bakomeye barya akarya abantu. It's rare to find the jelly honey because it's rare it's also expensive. The the all citizens or all of us we eat the regular honey but the the queen bee and the kings and the queen they eat the jelly honey amen amen dero urumwami so you are a king and a queen ugomba kurama you shall have longevity mbareka re so as i'm letting you go ngo waturira ijambo i want you to confess this ngo sinzapfa so i will not i will not die nzarama i will live ndekerereza abantu and declare to people ibyimana yankoreye the good the works of god amen amen musubire mu myanya ya nyabami nabamikazi your seats eh hallelujah 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 hallelujah